so many wonderful things to do here in Istanbul and football watching is amongst them. Welcome to the home of Galatasaray. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and my partner ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk is Stuart Robson. And there's plenty to play for because we're at the semi-final stage of the UEFA Europa Conference League and this is the second leg. It's Galatasaray and they face Mallorca. Well, the visitors have it all to do here, Derek. But a quick start, an early goal, and they'll be right back in it. This should be good today. how it looks for Galatasaray well they're playing in a 4-5-1 formation which is set up to counter attack at pace yes they'll play with a flat midfield out of possession but when they win the ball back they'll break forward really quickly let's hope they play it well today And the short option preferred. Baba. Oh, he's through here. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. Keen to take it short here. Cuts it back. And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations. Well, here it is again. And just look how he turns away from his marker and then gets his shot away. That's a very good goal, you have to say. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Can they get in behind them? And he takes it on. Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. And that will be a corner. Bula. Well, tremendous block. Body in the way again. There it is! A fantastic goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating.
Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. And the free kick, not far off at all. Well, that was struck so well. I actually think he'll be disappointed he didn't score there. That's how good a player he is. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Can he take advantage? Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Denied by the bar. Back in play here. You know, there are many who felt it would go this way. A shootout coming up to determine which of these two teams will reach the final. So the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a player... And he's beaten the keeper. And the keeper taking care of the situation. And he steps up to take his penalty. Well, he's gone for finesse and it's really paid off. Clinical as always in front of goal. Can he remain calm? And the penalty converted here. So lethal in front of goal. Can he keep us cool? He went for the so-called Panenka, but couldn't keep that down. And he finds the net he could hardly miss. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. He's gambled on direction and won. It all falls on his shoulders. If he scores, they win. And he finishes from the spot. What a moment to take his team through to the final. Well, what a test of character for him. But he shows so much conviction, doesn't he? What a finish to this semi-final. Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end.